from Giant 96 in Shelbyville. This is Real Radio News on Giant96.com. Governor, you mentioned Fort Wayne. You mentioned the other establishments that have yeah. seen growth and expansion. You were right. recently in Greensburg. This is another good day. That's another good day for Indiana, and it's really a tribute to the people of Indiana. You know, my, you know, my conversation with Tommy and the guys at Crone today it didn't get us too long to get to the bottom line that this is about the people of Shelby County. It's about the people of Indiana. I'm, I'm proud of the pro-business environment we have, low taxes, right investments in roads and schools, sensible regulations. Uh, but, but, you know, a company like this that could go anywhere has got to have confidence uh, in the workforce uh, that's available today and in the future. And this is a real vote of confidence for the people of Shelby County and the people of Indiana. I know when there was an opportunity for Indiana to really talk to Illinois on the other side of the border where they've had all sorts of issues keeping business at home, you said Indiana might be a place you could escape to. This is a move from yet another state away, right. though, in Tennessee. That's right. Yeah. I, I uh, you know, we love competition, and not just during the NCAA tournament. But, uh, you know, we compete every day for jobs. But to see a company like Crone pull up stakes from Tennessee and come here to Shelbyville, says everything you need to know about Shelbyville, about Shelby County, and about a pro-business, pro-agriculture environment that we have here in the state of Indiana. I mean, this series of announcements, uh, Honda in Greensburg investing $50 million, Walmart uh, in, in creating a new dairy processing facility in Fort Wayne, uh, the Dow DuPont merger resulting in a global business center in central Indiana, and now Crone here in Shelbyville, I think just tells you all about the momentum that we have in this economy. And I'm determined to continue to keep the policies in place that are inviting that kind of investment. But at, at the end of the day, uh, this is about the people of Indiana and their reputation for hard work, character, for excellence. And uh, so that's, that's who owns this win. Thank you, Governor. You bet.